Hi guys, uh, welcome. In today's uh, video we're going to try to clean this Game Boy Pocket up. Um, it's a little bit dirty and needs some cleaning up to get it to nice original condition again. We will clean the parts with isopropyl alcohol and some q-tips and the shell we can do with a little bit of water with soap so okay uh, let's test this out let's get some batteries over here i've got some batteries in this one which is heavily burnt as you can see uh, this one i will do in a later video and we will probably uh, replace the screen with another one because i have six or seven of these Game Boy Pockets also two yellow ones um, and then we will do a backlight mod and uh, buy further chip to get that uh, real nice looking screen if it's not working for you just wiggle these up and down sometimes that helps there's a little bit of corrosion on there like this tune it's so happy as you can see it's a really really nice screen still it looks good the buttons are working okay at the moment so I don't think it's it's not a lot of work to to fix this up again First of all, you can see when you open it, when it's already open before, this, I don't think it's open before, to be honest. It looks in really mint condition. So, uh, to you know, remove the motherboard, you need to get these screws out. I think this will be fine for that. Looks like in good condition. I'm just curious because this looks like this looks like it's uh, it's been replaced, but I'm not sure. This is the first time I'm opening one up. So if you want to remove the uh, screen, just wiggle the case like this and it will pop out eventually. Let's put that away. We will put these in the, the soapy water. Oh, look at all this, this grime. So it's probably not open before. Just looks looks like it. Really dirty. So let's put that in the bucket. The speaker needs cleaning as well, as you can see. Let's 
so it's a little bit corroded over here I think we can clean this up it's good enough it's it's not that bad I have seen worse and now for the motherboard we just want to use a q-tip like this one doesn't really matter just pick whatever the cheap uh, I put some uh, isopropyl alcohol in this container I think it's originally used for nail polish remover or something like that so we want to try to clean up the contacts over here Really a horrible sound. What we also want to do is just get some ice pop alcohol in here and switch. Just wiggle it around a couple of times. Okay, this is fine, we will leave it. Uh, this can go into the soapy water as well. So you got the parts in here soaking away. You can use a brush like this one. Just don't scrub too hard, just go gentle with it. So it's really hard to To make them nice again without painting. Just, uh, just to go all through and through. You can also use like a cheap uh, brush like this one. Just the nooks and crannies. I won't, I won't bore you with uh, the rest of the process, but we'll get the point by now. We need to check. Ah, it's already coming up. Nice. Let's see. So quickly when I'm drying these parts, I don't know if you can see because it's, I have to fix this lighting issue. Um, even though I put this in the soapy water, it's really nicely clean now, as you can see. You just want to get a Q-tip and some isopropyl and just clean those black dots up. Also for the other ones, and for these. Well, uh, just to get uh, the contact surface really clean and nice it will be much more responsive when you do this so welcome back now we want to see if we can clean this screen up a little I have this Maguire's Scratch X Just maybe try one or two times. Don't go all in if it's not cleaning up. So you can see it really cleaned up already. I will try this once more and uh, try to get out this stain. Oh. 
So this is the result after a second go. You can still see that it's it's not really cleared up all that much. Um, if you really want to make this nice, you can buy a replacement screen. I don't want to do that in this case because well, it's still original. It's in the, in the original condition. Or to add to my collection, I just want to keep this one original. Really check if it's in there, it needs to be all the way in there and put uh, push the pins down because if you won't, it probably won't make a good connection and then you have to reopen the shell. Before we screw it all the way back together, it's best to try it. And as you can see, it still works. So I think it really cleaned up nicely. You can see the paint as well. I really love it. It's great. Mint condition sticker as well. Love it. As for the buttons, really, really is responsive now. I think they were already responsive to begin with, but they're even better now. I can tell, really nice. So this game I'm not familiar with, I just got it this week. I, I think, I think it's Kirby, no? Not sure. I get the point. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, short video um, for this Game Boy Pocket. We will do another video, uh, I think next week, Saturday, I have time to make it. Uh, depends on when the parts come in. We will do this uh, burned yellow Game Boy. Uh, this is the best shell. Of the two, but we have to tr try and to get a screen for this because this one is. Well, I think maybe it will clean up, but the other one is even worse. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, drop a like or a dislike, comment and subscribe if you want to see more content this, like this. Uh, I will see you next time. Bye. And like we say in the Netherlands, tot ziens.